Many of you have heard about uh, anthracnose hitting the northeast early this year, about the middle of March, in a number of locations around uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we're going to take a look at some of the weather data just to see what might have happened to cause that epidemic to kick off. It's kind of an interesting story. Let's take a look. This graph illustrates the threat temperature since the first of the year in the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area. The disease anthracnose showed up around the 15th of March, which is uh, pretty early, and we can see the anthracnose threat temperature of 65 isn't reached until we get out here in, the, uh, in April and into May. So what caused the disease to kick in this early? Uh, some speculation uh, might be that, well, we had this big jump in threat temperature uh, earlier in the month, but I don't think that was probably the cause of the epidemics that we saw in the East Coast. So let's take a look at some other options that uh, might result in an epidemic showing up before you have indications that the environmental conditions are ideal for the disease. So what are the other options that might have caused anthracnose to kick up early in the spring when we wouldn't expect it? Well, one of the things is winter damage. If there's a lot of dead leaf tissue, maybe we've got some saprophytic activity when we had warm days uh, coming out into the spring or, uh, on those freeze thaw and extended freeze damage areas. Uh, we could have some low springtime nitrogen fertility that enhances anthracnose. That's always a uh, potential problem due to rainfall and snow melt. Uh, and the other one that we think is probably most critical is anthracnose overwintering. So the spring epidemic kicks up, but what you're really seeing is the re remnants of a fall or late summer uh, epidemic that uh, wasn't com effectively controlled. Or it could be a combination of all of the above, but certainly uh, we think it's the strongest case that uh, what we're seeing in the early spring outside the normal range of conditions is that leftover from last summer. Under what conditions should you apply a fungicide for anthracnose control in March? Uh, our feeling is that if you see anthracnose damage, it's time to treat to protect the surrounding healthy plants and to reduce the inoculum before conditions are conducive to disease. You don't want the uh, disease to be just ready to attack plants as soon as the conditions get uh, conducive for disease, so you need to knock that inoculum load down. You need to get the uh, plants around it protected before you get into conducive conditions. And what fungicide do you use? Well, for anthracnose, there's a, it's best to use a combination of uh, systemics and contacts. There's a lot of options out there. There's a link associated with this video uh, that you can click on. It'll give you our uh, most recent uh, information on anthracnose uh, products that you might want to use. And in addition to this, because if you see this happen uh, one year, it's probably going to happen again. You want to watch out what you're using uh, for your snow mold applications and at the end of the summer make sure that you clean up all of the anthracnose before you get into the winter and even if there's some fear of anthracnose overwintering maybe you'll use a product that's also effective on the snow molds before you uh, uh, make a selection. Well so that pretty much sums up the story about anthracnose uh, happening early in the Pennsylvania area. Uh, we feel it was a combination of late season anthracnose uh, overwintering and then just uh, kicking up early or even just uh, seeing the anthracnose it was left over from the previous season. Probably not a new anthracnose epidemic starting that early in the spring. Uh, treatment uh, in our opinion is going to be necessary because you want to protect the plants that are around the infected plants and you want to reduce that inoculum load so when the conditions become conducive for anthracnose that the plants that are out there don't get overwhelmed. Also make sure your nitrogen levels are up and you follow all the other management uh, recommendations for controlling anthracnose uh, in uh, Poa annua, which is uh, rolling, sand top dressing, nitrogen, airification, not mowing too low, taking a little easy on the Poa. <laughs>